get me into the Dome of the Rock, the second holiest site in Islam and a mosque that has been totally off limits to non-Muslims since 2003. We had no idea how to do this. We had no contacts and God only had 24 hours to make this happen. My main reason for wanting to go was simply for the world to see for themselves the God of the impossible. We arrived in Jerusalem and immediately hit the streets looking for people to love. The first person we met was this guy, who was walking with a pretty severe limp. Todd jumped right in. What is your name? Jay. My name is Todd. Can I, uh, I know how to make your pain go away. Yeah? Yes, sit. Massage? Yes, sit. Right here. Just for a minute. Sit back the whole way with your butt back, behind back, yep. Feet. This, look, see this leg? It's long. This is short, you see? Watch. Father, I thank you right now, in Jesus' name. Left leg grow. You feel? You feel it coming out? <laughs> yeah. Look. It's good. You feel in this leg? You feel the pain going away right now. Watch. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Every bit of pain, I command you get out right now. Get out. Discs be healed right now in Jesus' name. Stand up. Bend. Check. It's good. Come on. Gone. Gone. Check. Any pain? It's good. Gone. I'm dreaming or what? No, you're not dreaming. Walk with me and tell me if it's gone. Come on. You know, I watched you walk. There's no pain. It's gone. Jesus just gave you new discs in your back. You had two discs that were bad and brand new discs right now. Because Jesus lives inside of me. So I pray and he touches you. Thank you, thank you. What is your, what, how do I say it? Shine, It's ish, it, uh, it's H A H I N. That's amazing. Are you Muslim? Yes. 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 I'm Christian and I just want to tell you that I love you. Oh, I want to meet. All thank of you. my heart. Thank you, thank you very, very, very much. How do you say it? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalam. Right. Alaykum yes. Assalam. Bless you. Okay. Enjoy your new back. Thank you very much. Thank Jesus you, thank name. you, thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You. Look, it's good. Thank you for your, for your time. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, okay. Bless Bye. you, brother. Bye. See you. That's pretty amazing. That's cool. Said I'm a Muslim. No, Jesus is the Son of God. <laughs> Yay. Gosh. Look at him walking. Look at him walking down the steps right now. No pain at all. Did, did you see him walking when he was, he was like this? Oh, he was walking like, oh my goodness. You see how fast, did you see him walking when he was coming up? He was like, he was walking like this. He said, am I dreaming? I'm dreaming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a good start. So we kept going, and we entered the Muslim quarter of Old Jerusalem, and Todd began praying for people, and they started to get healed left and right. So they brought others up to us, and soon a crowd had gathered. I want to be known as somebody that loves, somebody that's passionate. It's about compassion. It's about the passionate heart of God for people. We got to stop trying to manipulate people, maneuver them into praying our prayer, and start to just become love. Not pointing out the trash, but pulling out the goodness that people are. Come on, we've been given the ministry of reconciliation, not imputing the world's trespasses against them. Come on, but reconciling people back to the Father. That's the ministry that we have. If people can't see Christ in you, they don't want what you have, bro. 
Word was spreading in the Muslim quarter of Jerusalem, and for nearly an hour we prayed for Muslims. Towards the end, a man approached us. So you're not going to make it to the bottom of the hill, you know that. <laughs> Hello? Hello? How are you? Good. Uh, you, are, uh, you, are, you are healthy? Yes. Yes? Healthy, no sick? Uh, in, your, in your chest, your, your lungs, your heart? No problems? Yes. Yes, I have this in me. I want to pray. Any problems? It's pictures, yes. We're doing a picture. Yeah. Come. Where are you from? Oh, from Pennsylvania. Uh, uh, second time. Christians, I'm Christian. Yeah. Good. You are? Me too, yeah. You are? Yes. Come on. It's amazing, yeah? That is good. Oh, I want to bless your home. This is where you live? Yes. How did you get to live in Via Dolorosa? It's the way of Christ. Ah. Jesus suffered here. Yes. Yeah, we live in the fifth station also. Yeah. Yeah. Here, my brother. Okay. Oh. It's a blessing for you. You become uh, something, something new. Yes. You don't be inside this, you know? Hello? He is, uh, he is hurt? He is hurt. Yes. He has a, a, a sick. He's sick. Very sick. It's his chest. He has a heart problem and his lungs. Yeah. That's what I heard out there. Chest and lungs. I must, I must pray for him to be healed. Is it, is it uh, cancer? No, it's not cancer. What is it? The doctor told me, no, his heart is not worth like 20%. Yes. And he can make operation and he's also Christian. Yes. He's, uh, I would say, it's my father-in-law. Yes. Yeah. I want to pray. He it's understand? He don't understand. We'll translate. That's okay. All right. So Todd prayed, and then he asked how the man was feeling. He was just happy. He was happy. He was happy. He was happy. He was like a little bit of pain. Left side. He had a little bit of pain? Point to pain. Push, tell him to touch it. Get out in Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Father, I thank you for wholeness in Jesus' name right now. No more pain. No more hard problems. Wholeness in Jesus' name. Ask. See? Awesome. It's good? Yeah. Good. I love you. Can he walk? He can walk? Is he good? Oh, walk? He's okay walking? Ask him if his ankles feel better. Feel better. Good. As we were leaving, I asked him if he knew of any way we could get into the Dome of the Rock. He said it was impossible. I said, yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me, but how can I get in? Then he looked at me, studied me, and said, we blessed him, now he wants to bless us. His best friend, he said, knows everyone who works at the Dome. If there was one person in Jerusalem who might be able to get us in, it was this guy. Would we like to meet him? Yes, please. Then let's go. So we walked for 20 minutes through the winding streets of old Jerusalem until we came to a courtyard, and this man called out to his friend, and the God of the impossible answered me.
So we sat with him, told him what we wanted to do, and he told us to be back tomorrow at 10. The next morning, we met outside the gate that made our way to the dome. As I stood outside this building, which once was the spot where Abraham almost sacrificed his son, Isaac, where the Ark of the Covenant used to reside, and where Muslims believe Muhammad ascended into heaven, I realized that we were about to do the impossible because God had made it possible. We were not here by force. We were here through simple acts of love. So we went in, during the call to prayer no less, and I realized that God had done the impossible to teach me, all of us, a lesson. For God, this was easy. The most impossible thing is that we, with our dirty faces and broken hearts, could have a love affair with the God of the universe, no matter who we are or what we've done. This was where the Ark of the Covenant resided, the Holy of Holies, and it was in this very spot that God tore the veil that kept us from his heart the moment Jesus died.